I'm on vacation. <clears throat> so good day all and welcome to the South African lawn. All right, Owen, so in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the establishment of my bent grass putting green right there. Um, so that's the type of thing that excite you maybe stick around for the next few minutes i hope you find this interesting i'm going to share with you what i did you know the watering the how i established it how i got it to this point i hope you enjoy it all right like owen so before we get uh started on the things that i want to say what I did on this uh, piece of bent cross here, I just want to firstly, well, sorry, firstly, I just want to say that uh, if I start coughing, unfortunately, this COVID thing has also now gotten hold of me. Um, I wanted to do this video. I actually did this video a week ago. Then I said, nah, it doesn't look too lacquer while I started editing. So I decided to redo it. And then the COVID got hold of me. So um, I was man down for the last couple of days. But I just want to show you how beautifully my sprinkler system has taken control of uh, things here. While I was sick in bed, I should, probably should be still in bed, but in any case, things is looking like a year, Owens, and getting ever closer, ever, ever closer to that first mow. And those are the things that excite me. Okay, so uh, just have a look here. I'm going to show you from above. Not complete coverage everywhere, but germination everywhere. Well, coverage everywhere, but I mean, it hasn't filled in all the like thinned areas completely i've added seed um, a couple of times and unfortunately my dogs decided to dig up this area once again but i did put new seed down so as you can see more seed that's actually hardy does don't worry about that just hardy does more seed down so as you can see germination right there and also i tried to the chunks that he took out i tried to put them back as carefully as possible so they actually retook and hopefully one day when i get to mow they'll start spreading and yeah just look at those fine grasses there guys those are all new seed that i've put down sorry i'm completely out of breath i don't know this COVID thingy isn't as light as i thought it was going to be it kind of nailed me to be 100 percent honest with you i can give you good advice maybe just put your mask back up i get tired so so quickly i literally just walk i tried to mow my lawn yesterday complete disaster i nearly passed out um, so yeah, but let's get to the establishment of this beautiful, uh, beautiful, where's the camera going, putting green of mine. Right, like, so those three things there, that's the fertilizers that I've this far used on that uh, bent cross putting green. And what is this? The one that I mainly use is this Aura Vital. Why do I use that? Because I love it. It's got a wetting agent in and a lot of micronutrients. And I'm going to talk about the difference the different method that I normally use like when this is NC32 that I just add with a Oro Vital when I do a liquid fertilizer application just because this Oro Vital doesn't have a lot of nitrogen in it as you can see there 22 grams per kilo which is very low um, and then also I added 232 okay so the main difference between um, this bent grass germination or establishment and this actual Kentucky bluegrass lawn establishment of mine is um, when I seeded this Kentucky Bluegrass Lawn. I actually used um, compost or like a lawn dressing which has organic matter in it, which really helps um, keep up the nutrient levels. Okay, so when I seeded this, I obviously seeded straight into sand, or at least that top layer is of sand. So I really, really wanted to make sure that as it starts germinating, and I'm gonna tell you now why I say as it starts germinating, until the actual root hits the soil below the sand, I really wanted to try and make sure that I keep up with the nutrients or at least spoon feed with the nutrients so that there's some nutrients for it to hold on to. What nutrients are we talking about? Normally, something like this. In all fairness, I don't think you should overcomplicate it. It's more like your 
your beginning of the season and ending of the season 232 type of stuff that you're looking for here that is the best for establishment your middle number so it's nitrogen phosphorus and potassium but that phosphorus the 232 you want to keep that number fairly high when we're talking about establishment and also when we talk about establishment of seed it's pretty universal to even sod even when you're laying sod if i would honestly if i'm laying sod put down compost underneath um, or you can even dress it afterwards but put down compost underneath and let that uh, compost naturally break down over a long period of time that's what i like about it um, feed the roots and then let those roots of that plant shoot into it and that's more or less exactly the same thing that i did with this establishment of the kentucky bluegrass um, however it's a little bit difficult when you're talking about sand also the thing that i just said i was going to talk about is why i only start fertilizing when it starts as it starts germinating i can't see the point of putting down a chemical fertilizer which will wash down with the water straight through the sand uh, when there's no grass germinated yet so i started only fertilizing the moment when i saw germination actually two or three days after i saw germination i don't personally believe that nutrients helps a plant germinate so as the plant starts growing yes then i add nutrients and then i want to try and aim it more towards um, phosphorus and maybe potassium not too much nitrogen you really want to start establishing the plant by its roots first and then later we can uh, be more aggressive with the growth of the actual uh, leaf blade of the plant if that makes sense to you yeah so very simply day one to seven until i saw germination only water watered four times per day that's all i did and then i started hitting it with a fertilizer firstly i started off with the liquid fertilizers at very low nitrogen rates and whatnot and no chance of burning and then after that i started with a chemical fertilizer um, and now we've got coverage almost everywhere and we've got some fairly active growth right here guys we in we at five weeks right now uh, almost exactly i think it's five weeks and one day um, that we're in right now it's the 27th of um june now almost heading towards july thankfully we had fantastic weather the last three weeks so after germination we had as it germinated sorry we had a good week and then as it started germinating we had two cold weeks and then now the last three weeks um, has been lacquer again so that slowed it down a bit but the last three weeks it really caught up with things here unfortunately and fortunately we're getting to a stage now where i have to start thinking of mowing you can really see this is probably at 15 20 mils high um, obviously very very uneven and then we've got only newborn babies like right there now only two three days old uh, but however i really can't wait too much longer otherwise this lawn is going to get too long and the the parts that are really thick and mature is going to struggle to get back down to green and putting out <coughs> excuse me Ooh. Yeah, so I do love compost and I do love seeding with compost or top dress medium to obviously get you that seed to soil contact. However, I just think that on a putting green, it's probably going to just be too uneven or become too uneven, if that makes sense to you. I just think that um, that really that uh, breaking down of the nutrients is going to make it bumpy and uneven. Um, I suppose you could obviously then put quite a lot of sand over the next two three months on it uh, once you start mowing but uh, i just think the sand was a was a better option on the on the top layer right here okay dokie guys so all in all um actually what i want to get to here is and i haven't said it yet is if you ask me my opinion on how to germinate grass seed whether it be bent grass or whether it be kentucky bluegrass right next to it um, the main trick to it all is keeping it moist and actually just taking care of the flipping thing just coming outside every single day seeing if there's dry spots seeing if there's pooling if there's washed away areas reseed that um, that's those are the type of things that's going to ensure a successful pro project if i can put it to you that way that's my best 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 advice take care of the flipping thing come out here rub the bloody grass don't walk too much on it obviously rub it see how it's doing see how it's faring my lawn is actually or this uh, bent grass is actually getting to a stage now where i can actually walk on it so one thing that i really really do love is that it's actually getting the, the sand to be a little bit firmer now because the actual root mass 
is holding the sand together whereas normally it's a little bit squishy because of all the water it's still a little bit squishy because there's nothing been on it for the last five weeks besides my dog two times um so yeah i really really can't wait to get mowing here but um, my top tip would be just get out here have a look at the thing have a look at where you see most germination and just be patient just keep watering it like religiously like i've moved down now to um two waterings per day 11 a.m and 3 p.m um, and that seems more than enough i can't wait to get it down to one time per day and then hopefully every second day um, but i'm going to try once per day in the next week or two uh, after i start mowing and getting it to really establish and shoot roots down into the soil and so on but absolutely beautiful such a fine such a fine grass type this okay so i want to i want to show you here um, i don't know if you'll be able to see it but this part is still a little bit squishy so i can't actually wait to get my i think it's established enough so i can do this type of things to get my mower over here and start compacting the sand back in because it's now fluffed up the last five weeks or so i still want to be careful and i want to hurt these grasses um but uh they actually they're actually now five weeks in or four weeks after step or four weeks after germination so they're quite established um really to be honest with you so uh yes look at that already firmer now that's beautiful yeah oh, they're still soft that's already firmer you see just getting that air pockets out and getting the sand back firm down i think as soon as i start mowing this will obviously make it flat and obviously get it firmer again now i just want to mention something that i saw this grass it had a had a yellow coating over it i'm not 100 percent sure what that coating is but i would imagine that it's not for water retention i actually think it's only for uh fungus pur purposes i think it's a fungicide that they treat the seed with um so that it doesn't actually succumb to fungus just as it germinates what do you think uh, let me know in the comment section if you know what the yellow coating on the bottom brug seed is i can probably easily google that or just read up on the seed um but that's my first guess guys so that is it i must be honest with you this area is still a little bit thin um but this time of the day this bloody thing just looks insane must be honest with you in the middle of the day it obviously looks a little bit lighter in color and whatnot and, but overall looking great um so my opinion guys growing grass from seed uh just be sure to choose the correct grass type get a good quality seed and then if you've got a passion for being outside i'm pretty sure anyone can do it just care for it don't overthink it don't think too much just care for your grass i promise you if you come outside here every day check for dry spots check for check for fungus adjust your sprinklers do all those lack of things that are well that's what i enjoy doing that's why i do all these things if you do all those things i promise you it's not that hard just go and flip and do it all the guys out there south africans flip and start growing grass from seed owens we don't have to buy sod from next to the road or if that flies your kite then go buy the sod next to the road okay so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button also put the bell on so you get notifications of my next videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that'll be a great shame if you have not have you not please tell me you've subscribed to the channel okay bye COVID. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> 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 I need a man. <coughs>